All right, so this is where we're at. Last time we uh, we built the cart, so I got that all set, wheels on it, and kind of the structure built and everything, place for the panels to sit. And we had these uh, these two Texas Solar 100 watt uh, solar panels that we were going to use, and I had planned on eventually upgrading these to to four, and that was the idea was to actually fit four solar panels on here and have them kind of like fold out into some kind of an array that uh, would all mount to this. But after some thought and some recommendation from you guys, I decided to go with a different route. So instead of having four 100 watt panels, I decided to go with these bad boys. So these are a, a different brand. These are Bouge RV or Bouge, I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, B-O-U-G-E. Uh, these are a, a bigger panel. These are 170 watts each. So it gives us a total of 340 watts. So we'll be uh, a lot better than our 200 watts we had with those and almost as much as having four of those panels. And these are monocrystalline panels, so they're a lot more efficient. Monocrystalline are a little bit better. They do cost a little bit more than the, the, the cheaper polycrystalline ones, but, but these are a better, more efficient uh, panel. So I'm using this Max Oak uh, little charger deal. This is a, a full battery backup inverter, charge controller, all that stuff all built in. It's got the, the 120 volts on this end and it's got a bunch of USB ports. I showed this in the last video. This is kind of the, the core of this build. We'll finish up our little rack here. I've got a few little additions to make to this um, and we'll figure out how we can get our panels kind of mounted on there maybe they'll fold out in some way i've got some ideas we'll work through that and uh, we'll get this uh, little mobile uh, portable solar generator put together all right so i think the first thing that we're going to work on uh, many of you suggested that i put a little uh, storage unit or storage area right here where I can put um, you know, extra cables or connectors or cords or power splitters and other things like that. And so that's the first thing I'm gonna work on is building some kind of a box right here. Uh, I think that'll help kind of firm this whole thing up as well as uh, give me a little place to, to store things. So we'll put a little lid on it that opens this way and has some kind of a latch on the front. Um, and then our, our battery unit, our inverter charger battery unit sits right here on the bottom of it. So I think that'll work. And then we need to build some kind of a kickstand that. Uh, kicks this out so I can put it at you know like a 45 degree angle or whatever in the sun summertime usually probably at about a 45 degree angle and then I need some way to mount both those solar panels on there so uh, we've got a lot of work to do so let's dig in and get started So everything that I uh, used for all the little hinges and stuff were all stuff I saved from other things that we threw out or took apart or or whatever. Um, so some of these screws are rusty and the, you know, I mean you paint some of these hinges up and stuff, but the stuff works great. I always save it. I did end up putting the hinges on the outside. Uh, I like them better on the inside, but it just didn't work out 
the way that the door was, was hinged without leaving a big gap back here. So I put the hinges out here, so we'll have to paint those. And then I just put little latches on each side. So the little bolt latches, you can undo those. And then I also had saved this uh, lifting mechanism. It's not a hydraulic or anything. It doesn't really assist it, but it locks up so that it, uh, it holds the, the lid up, which is nice. I have a leg go down to here. Why do you need here. to do that? Because I need a leg to come back because this has to kick stand back. somewhere like under a bush maybe or? but then it needs to have like a little bit of moist yeah. the budget priest have you gonna get wood on him why is he thin at one I end mean, and then thick at another end I don't know you know what you should do you should look up the anatomy of an earthworm What do the worms do in the winter? What do they do? Yeah. They die. I think in the winter time they like hibernate. Oh, good here. See if this can handle a table saw.
So that's it, the portable solar generator. Got some some uh, some tidy up to do on it still. A few things I want to fix up and uh, paint it up and and get it all sealed and stuff like that. But but man, these solar panels are way better than those other ones. Uh, these are really nice. So you can see we're we're over over 200. 280 watts right there and this is kind of low it's about five o'clock so in the evening we got a little lower sun here and uh, that uh, LED light it shows is pulling about 78 watts so it's not, not it doesn't pull a lot of power with the uh, with direct sunlight earlier in the day I bet we get uh, we get over 300 watts out of these which is just awesome so everything is is secured uh, I made a little a little uh, support down here kind of holds the panels in place when they're in the uh, deployed position and then when they're in the uh, the storage or, or transport position uh, they kind of fit in there in that gap so it's kind of two different two different positions there on the bottom and then these little wings that come out uh, right now I just have a, a bolt that you put in here and I'll get a wing nut for the back it'll be a lot easier than sticking trying to stick your fingers back here getting that done in but but that same bolt and nut uh, goes in this hole when they're in the transporter storage position it, it secures them to the to the actual uh, dolly or whatever while they're while they're moving um, but everything else the kickstand works pretty good i made these little uh little chalk little chalk blocks to stick under the wheels so that this doesn't uh, roll forward so when it's in this position you got a little bit of forward pressure on those wheels so it could easily you know kick forward i also may add some kind of a stake bracket where I can maybe push a rod or something like that down into the ground on this back section here. So if it gets real windy, you know, this thing could blow over. So I want to make sure it's secured to the ground. So I might need to work on that. But man, I love these bigger panels. This is, this is cool. And this company uh, I was looking at, they have a store. Um, they actually have a bunch of other stuff. They have MC4 connectors and tools and all that stuff. So I'll put a link to these guys in the description uh, to, the, to these panels specifically. I'll probably grab a few more of these panels uh, later on down the road when I'm ready to set up more solar at our house. I think this would be a, these are perfect panels for, for that. And that, that battery bank, it's a lithium ion battery, so it doesn't matter if it's on a tilt. It doesn't have to be level, it can be at any angle. Um, man, it works great. That thing is just awesome. It, it really, I mean, that thing powers the table saw, so that's perfect for me to be able to take this out and run some, some power tools. Um, I could run a small circular saw, I can charge up all my batteries with it, so I think this will work great. And this is that, uh, that new Stanley uh, LED light that I got. Um, this thing folds up and I made a little spot for it on the top. I actually have two of those. Um, I could store one kind of slide right through this hole right here on top of the, the box and then one more on the top right here. And I could throw a bungee cord over them or something to, to if I'm really taking this thing out in the field. but. It is pretty heavy uh, to move around, but uh, I might make a hitch or something for it where I could uh, throw it on the back of the garden tractor uh, or something like that and, and take it back a little easier. But I could very easily pull this up in the back of my truck uh, and I can easily pull it around the yard. So just sun is just beating down on those things. Perfect. Well, I can't complain about how this turned out. I'm actually really happy with it. There's a, a few adjustments I need to make, and uh, thanks to a lot of your great ideas. I know somebody had mentioned talk, uh, putting a spot for this light on here. I think that's a great idea. Um, another person had mentioned uh, about this box, making sure to have some type of storage area. I think that was a great, uh, great idea. Um, and I got a lot of ideas on how to you know, get the panels folded out and all that stuff. I had originally wanted to use drawer slides. Somebody had suggested that. 
uh, but I ended up not having ones that were good enough uh, to do that. And so, but I think with the, the wings that fold out, everything is really secure. And I think that this is gonna work out just fine to keep everything uh, together out here when we take it out to the field or take it out camping and things like that. It's meant to be a self-contained unit. So it has everything that, uh, that you need to, to take out and, and generate power. Uh, completely off the grid somewhere and so we can uh, we can pop this up we can keep our batteries charged up and topped off during the day we can run fans and charge phones and run uh, all kinds of electronics and other things lights and stuff like that overnight if we're camping I can take this out and run my table saw and charge batteries and other things like that out if I'm working on something I can take this out and uh, you know charge a battery on a tractor or anything like that so uh, I can run an electric fence off of this so I could take this out and set up some poultry fencing or something out in the farm and and uh, continue animals with it and uh, so it's just a great portable solar option I can take this anywhere everything I need will be right in the box uh, to take this out and so it'll be ready to go at any time still have a little bit of uh, detail work to do on it we're gonna get it all sealed up and, and prettied up um, I've got some things to adjust and some hardware to paint and things like that and so I'll take you for a final uh, kind of show of this whole project from start to finish and how it turned out in the end and we'll go out and put it to use uh, here in a later at a later video so I'll put a link to the the solar panels. Uh, those are over on Amazon. Uh, these are these are nice nice high quality solar panels as far as I can tell so far. Uh, I'll put a link to the work light, which is another favorite, and the uh, battery backup inverter uh, charge controller all in one deal. Uh, I'll put all links to all that stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today. Don't forget to hit thumbs up and of course subscribe if this is your first time here. Love to have you tag along. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.